Welcome to your Jew and Weeble 3. Today we are going to be talking about the ZY Play app and how to connect and use it with your gimbal. Start by connecting all of the necessary cables. There's a specific tutorial that you must watch when doing this, so make sure you check out that video first. Also make sure that you're using the proper USB-C cable because other cables may not work with the Weeble 3. Now hold down the power button on the transmitter box to power it on until the middle light turns green. Don't forget that your gimbal must be turned on at this time. Now let's open the ZY Play app and just play with the basic functions under the gimbal's menu. This part of the tutorial is useful for those of you who do not have the video transmitter AI accessory. On the upper left hand corner, select the gimbal you are using. After selecting the Weeble 3, press on connect now and connect via Bluetooth. Then press on enter now and you will be inside of the main gimbal's menu. Here you'll find the current Bluetooth connection status and the gimbal's battery life and phone battery life. Now let's enter the settings on the top right corner. First is scene mode, camera brand, six side calibration, motor calibration, strength, and device information. Under the scene mode settings, you will be able to adjust how the gimbal reacts. Please watch the gimbal shooting modes and settings tutorial video to adjust these settings. Under camera brand, select your camera brand that you are using for a better user experience. Enter the six side calibration mode to calibrate your gimbal for optimum performance. Only use this function if your gimbal is behaving abnormally. Next is motor calibration, which will adjust the tilt or the roll motors by degrees. Next is strength. Use the setting to increase or lower motor torque. And lastly is device information where you will find the current gimbal you are using along with the firmware number. Back to the gimbal's main screen. Press the camera icon to access panorama, time lapse, and trajectory photography options also known as motion lapse. Here you will find the record button, press it to record video or photo. Now we have the roll slider, which will control the roll axis. Next is the gimbal shooting modes. Please watch the gimbal shooting modes tutorial video. Now we have sync motion, which will give you the ability to use the gyroscope built into your phone and transmit that signal to your gimbal so it will replicate those movements. You can adjust these sliders here to make the movements more smooth and you can adjust the speed. Once your settings are dialed in, press this button here to enable sync motion so that the gimbal starts reacting to your phone's movements. Now let's connect the wireless transmission system. Slide over to the wireless transmitter and select the version that you're currently using. Now let's connect it to your Wi-Fi. Press on connect now and it will take you to your Wi-Fi settings. Find a similar Wi-Fi name to what is shown here. Select it and then enter the password that is 12345678. Then press on join and you should connect successfully. Now go back to the ZY Play app and press on enter now. With all proper connections, your transmitter is connected to your gimbal. Here's the home button and here's the live switcher. Make sure your camera is on at this time so that way feed is directed to the app. Here's the joystick which can be moved around right on your phone. The gimbal will react respectively. And this slider here will control the gimbal's roll. To enable object tracking, press on the target icon here and then drag a box under the object that you would like to track. The gimbal will start tracking immediately. To cancel the track, press that target button again. Tap on this icon here to find out all of the current Wi-Fi settings on your gimbal. This option will allow you to change all of the gimbal shooting modes. Please watch the separate tutorial video on gimbal shooting modes. This icon here will allow you to save the camera feed directly to your phone. But remember to turn this off as this can eat up a lot of memory space. This option here shows us if our camera settings are being directed and read by the app. We'll talk more about this later. This icon here shows us how we're controlling the gimbal via the app. Here you can access different histograms and the vector scope simply by tapping on it.
On the upper right, press on the hamburger menu to access a bunch more options, such as the stabilizer settings, which will allow you to change the strength, zoom sensitivity, and focus sensitivity. I go more into detail on how to change these settings and why they're important in another tutorial. Please click on the video card here to access that tutorial. By tapping on the camera settings, you'll have the option to change the image quality that's being transmitted. Here we have fluent, low, medium, and high. Tap on image to access options like false color and focus peaking and even LUTs. Tap on follow focus to control the zoom or focus controller. The control mode gives you the ability to change how you control the gimbal via the app. You can use the joystick control, motion control, and attitude control. Attitude control is still using the gyroscope on your phone, but it's much more stable and better for accurate and more precise shots. Next is scene mode, which we previously talked about. This changes how your gimbal behaves depending on the environment that you're shooting in. Please watch the gimbal shooting modes tutorial video for more information. Next is device calibration, such as six-sided calibration and motor calibration, both of which we've already spoken before in this tutorial. If you decide to select six-side calibration, your gimbal will go limp. Next is Live, which will give you the ability to stream live to these platforms here. And lastly for this menu is Information, which will give you the current device being used, serial number, device model, and the firmware version. If the app feels crowded with too many options, tap on this icon to clear it up. Below that is the battery life on your gimbal and phone. Next is the Library. All camera live feeds that you saved via the app will be saved in this album. The camera icon will give you the ability to access panorama, time-lapse, and motion-lapse options. And lastly, here are your camera settings that will show up at the bottom of the screen. This depends and varies on the camera model that you are using and whether or not you have all of the cables attached. You can press on these options and change them individually. And that's it for this video. Make sure you check out the other tutorials for this series on the Weeble 3 Gimbal.